You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here, the gentleman poet, storyteller. Oh, I have two good poems for you. And what our country is going through, ooh, we have love of man's best friend and one about respect. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV because CNAs matter. Friends, the nebulous truths about kittens and dogs and stories and influence. Let's mind down and touch the tender heart. I'm glad to have had these moments as the pups and I take in the sights and sounds of the Ozarks. We're thankful for the peace of this morning. Let me share love of man's best friend. Oh, how you added to our life, companion, listener, guardian, and reliever of our strife. A companion and guardian from the start. It wasn't long till you won our heart. You guarded faithfully those who care for you, while many friends were not so true. Your friendship was a priceless gift that could not be bought or sold. But its value was far greater than a mountain made of gold. For gold is cold and lifeless. It can neither see nor hear. And in time of trouble, it is powerless to cheer. It has no ears to listen, no heart to understand. It cannot bring you comfort or lay a furry paw in your hand. So when you ate less, slept more, and turned gray, then you reminded us to appreciate each day. Years later, no one would have guessed sweet memories as I mow where you are laid to rest. Let me share <clears throat> a man of respect. The man Flamon from God knows where, with firm address and foreign air, with news of nations in his talk and something royal in his walk, a glint of iron in his eyes, but never doubt nor yet surprise, appeared and stayed and held his head as one by kings accredited. Erect with his alert repose about him and about his clothes, he pictured all tradition hears of what we'll to Fifty years. His cleansing heritage of taste paraded neither want nor waste. And what he needed for his fee to live, he borrowed graciously. He never told us what he was or what mischance or other cause had banished him from better days to play the prince of castaways. Meanwhile, he played surpassing well, a part for most unplayable. In fine, one pauses half afraid to say for certain that he played. His main distinguished any crowd, his credit strengthened when he bowed, and women, young and old, were fond of looking at the man Flamon. Oh, when I was young, I loved heroes. Heroes just like we have now with our CNAs. My final thought, George Washington Carver said, be tender with the young, compassionate with the aged, because sometime in your life, you will have been both of these. 
friends. I have to leave you now because the pups, Cora May and Bubba, are ready for their chow. <laughs> you can reach me on Twitter at JohnWillard47. Until next week, this is John Willard from the farm. <laughs>